What is going on guys? It is me, the Lone Vault Wanderer, with another edition of Fallout for what we want. But this episode is going to be slightly different. It's going to be a discussion-based episode. And the topic for this video is, should Fallout 4 incorporate a cooperative campaign or not? In the past, I voiced my wishes for wanting a cooperative campaign along the lines of Borderlands, Borderlands 1 or 2, or even the pre-sequel, because I enjoyed those games so much more when I was able to play with a friend or play with multiple friends. But I've thought about this issue for months on end now, and what I'm going to present to you now is a list of pros and cons to including a cooperative campaign feature in the next Fallout game in Fallout 4. And I must say, even as an advocate for wanting a cooperative campaign, there are a lot more cons here. So I think my opinion has actually been changed just by speaking to some fans, to some subscribers, to you guys. My opinion has changed drastically. So let me get the pros out of the way first. First of all, you get to play with a friend. And I've talked about this in the past, how I played Borderlands 1 by myself initially, and I traded it in because I just didn't enjoy the game. I thought it was really boring. Now, I never experienced that with Fallout 3 or New Vegas, mind you, but I did experience that with Borderlands 1. But then my friend was like, buy it again and we'll play it together. And as a result, I enjoyed the game so much more because I was playing with a friend and we were both engaging in this really fun, crazy, over-the-top game. So I'm thinking that perhaps with Fallout 4, you might get a similar result. Even though it's predominantly a single player RPG game, maybe and just maybe, many people might actually enjoy being able to play with a friend. And I know that there are those people out there because I've seen the comments, I see what people write on forums, etc. So I know that people do want it like myself in the past. And the second pro that I wanted to bring up was that a cooperative campaign feature, one that is optional at least, adds a further layer of depth to the game and therefore increases the replayability and what I mean by that is that if the cooperative campaign feature is optional then it's just another thing which can potentially lead to a great game once you're finished the single player experience then you can be like all right now that I've enjoyed it as it's meant to be as a single player RPG experience now I want to play it with a friend and then you can have another 30 to 40 hours of great fun that way so I do think that's a very good reason for incorporating a cooperative campaign feature to Fallout 4 but here comes the cons First of all, for PC, this is not going to be an issue for console players because you don't have mods on console, but for PC, if you're going to have two people playing a server or one player host a game or however they're going to implement it, each of those players will have to have the exact same mods installed. Otherwise, you just won't be able to have it. You can't have two different players with two completely different set of visual mods installed because I truly do think that that would just be technically impossible. Maybe they'll be able to figure it out. I have no idea, but just standing from a realistic standpoint, I just can't see it technically being possible. Now, mind you, Minecraft is able to pull it off. You can play in any server in Minecraft with whatever texture pack that you want to play in, but I'm not sure whether that can work with mods and the way that mods are installed on PC. I just don't think it can work out, but maybe somebody with a bit more knowledge of mods and how they work can answer that for me in the comments below. But anyway, secondly, how do you incorporate VATS? VATS is a mechanic where you stop time you focus upon a target and you shoot that target. The world around you does not continue in real time. Every enemy will stop in time so you can focus on which body part you want to target and then shoot that specific body part. If there is another person in the lobby as part of a cooperative campaign, the game can't just stop for both people when one person wants to go into VATS. It just won't work. So I've listed a few solutions that you could do for VATS, but to be honest, I just don't think that these would work or would be practical in any way. First of all, you could just have have time stop for the second player when player one or the other player wants to go into VATS mode. That's a bad solution, but it is an option. Secondly, perhaps just the player entering VATS and the enemy that they have targeted by the pit boy, they're the only ones that stop while the game around them continues in real time. That includes other enemies and that includes the second player that has joined the game. Now that's obviously a bit stupid as well because when you enter in VATS, you can target multiple enemies. You can change from one enemy to the other. It's not just one enemy that stopped in time, it's multiple enemies. So with this kind of mechanic, you can only focus on one enemy and that's it. And what if you want to focus Focus on one enemy, how do you pick that particular enemy in general? Because now in Fallout, when you press the VATS button, it's not like you're
you're targeting one specific enemy in VATS if there's multiple enemies. You just press the button and it activates. So if only one enemy can be targeted in VATS, there might be a bit confusion between the, the input and what that game actually realizes as to which enemy that the player wants to target in VATS. So I see that as a bit of a problem. The third alternative, when one player activates VATS, the enemies might just start going in slow motion. But again, that would just affect what VATS has become. That being stopping time completely and being able to target enemies without the risk of being hit or without the risk of being shot. And also it will affect the second player. The second player will have to be in slow motion as well. And fourthly, probably the most practical solution is for in the cooperative campaign mode specifically, Bethesda just ditches VATS completely and you only have VATS in the single player mode. Obviously that's stupid because people like VATS but some people might want to play in cooperative campaign. So it's like you can't have the best of both worlds. Again, I don't think these solutions are real solutions. I think they're just dodgy workarounds and I don't think just because of the way VATS is, there's any logical or rational way to be able to incorporate that. Thirdly, people that are new to Fallout and that won't play the Fallout single player campaign initially and would just want to go straight into a cooperative campaign, that might ruin the single player immersive RPG experience that Fallout has always been about, whether that's Fallout 1 and 2 or whether that's Fallout 3 in New Vegas. It will completely change the dynamic of Fallout and yes, it'll be an optional mode, but many people will be playing that optional mode first. So you're going to have split communities that thinks Fallout is some sort of cooperative game that you can play online line and then the diehard original community that has played Fallout 1, 2, 3, New Vegas in the past which know that Fallout is in fact a single player immersive RPG game. So I think that's going to be a bit of a problem. However, that problem also leads to a second point which is the fourth con that I want to mention and that's the incorporation of a second player in a cooperative campaign mode is going to force important changes on the story. What happens? Do both players become the protagonist? Because if so, that might actually affect the story in the single player mode. Mode. Are you going to have split storylines? Is Bethesda going to have to create two different scripts? That's going to take time and resources and it might negatively impact upon the single player mode. So that's a huge concern for me personally. Or the second option, does the host simply become the protagonist and then the joining player become a character more akin to a regular NPC follower like Forks for example. So all they do is fill the shoes of what you would have as a regular NPC follower in Fallout 3 or in New Vegas, whether that be Jericho, Forks, Dogmeat, Eddie, etc, etc. So that's another problem there. So anyways guys, those are just my concerns that I wanted to raise. I have another point as well that I wanted to bring up, but I'll probably just leave that in the comments below because I don't want to have this video go on for too long, bearing in mind that I'm actually making this video the night before I'm leaving to go overseas, so this is why I'm trying to rush through it. But if you guys have any other concerns or even any other pros for incorporating a cooperative campaign feature in Fallout 4, put those in the comments below and I'm going to happily read them. But until next time, this has been the Lone Vault Wanderer. Please take care of yourself and as always, keep fighting the good fight.